So I've been thinking about doing this mod for a while, and ever since I've got this Timbersmith stock from Tapco installed and the 20 round magazine, I'm kind of really giving it another thought. I think it's time to actually get it done. Um, the thing about a SKS is that once you've installed an aftermarket magazine, that once the bolt is closed, you can't get the magazine in or out because the bolt is in the way. So you always have to have it back which is, can be dangerous as you can see in order to get the bolt uh, the bolt forward and again once it's in there you can't get it out because now it's locked in here because of the bolt the way around this of course is you do a bolt mod where you grind off the two shelves and make room in order to be able to get this magazine in and out and I think we're going to try that today So what's happening is that this little lip right here on both sides is keeping the magazine from being either inserted or extracted when the bolt is forward. <clears throat> what we got to do is take a grinder and grind this part down so it's flush with this lower shelf right here. You can take it all the way forward. Uh, I did make some marks on it about right here is where the mark is. I technically only have to grind it right to here but I'm going to try to keep it all, all pretty much the same. This uh, back lip right here is where the end of uh, the grind needs to be. Anything past that is not really necessary. So, One of the tricks I've been told of this is to grind a little bit and put some water on it to help keep it cool. So um, we're going to kind of see how this goes. I don't really think that this part is necessary. This is a personal preference. Come in here and grind this out by hand. Again, I think I'm getting a little carried away right here uh, with the little round file, but you know this is uh, this is my personal gun, and I can. Uh, as carried away as I want if I think that's that's what it's going to take. So what I'll do when I'm all done is I'll take some I'll take uh, takes probably thousand grit sandpaper and clean up these file marks here and then probably buff buff all this out. So that looks pretty good on this side. Let's turn it over and, and see what happens. So once I turn it around I realize that using a round file right here to make this this edge probably is not going to work there's nowhere for me to uh, to grind this way on it so um, I'll have to figure out what the best best way is for that once I get that far and I'll start getting grinding this one down again we're grinding it right to this to this edge right uh, right to this shelf nice and even with that and then I'll that'll free up where the teeth go in the uh, magazine. So let's see if I can do a little bit of shaping with the, the point of this. Yeah, I don't really think it matters that much. This is, I really think, unnecessary, but something I want to do anyway. Just try to keep any uh, sharp edges off the 
off the bolt. From all the videos I have seen of this done, it, it looks like as long as you get your cut back here as far as this groove is right here on both sides, that you're you're going to be good to go. I just want it to be be a little bit smoothed out for my liking. That's all. Now you can see, looking through here, the profile change that's been made on the bolt on both sides. I'm gonna get this uh, get this cleaned up a little bit more and get it back in the gun and and see how we're doing. Pretty easy mod, really. All in all, the SKS bolt mod really only takes about 15 or 20 minutes to do. You need a grinder and possibly a small file to take off the little sharp edges. But it really, really makes a world of difference in this rifle. Uh, anybody who's had an SKS will tell you that uh, trying to get an aftermarket magazine in and out, doing any type of combat reload, or if you have some kind of malfunction where you need to get the magazine out, is almost impossible when you don't have this mod. There's no way to get that magazine out with the bolt in the closed position. But this way, easy sure enough to do magazine changes pretty quickly and so far I'm happy with it and in a few days I'll get out to the range and get a few shots off with it and see how it goes. Okay, until then, uh, if you're thinking about doing this mod, I would definitely, definitely give it a shot.